Got a bunch of offers ranging from 600 to 1300, which I declined. Finally sold for $1,850 at a thrift store for 50 cents. I thought I might be reaching a little when I started the auction at $49.99. Within eight hours, it was at 100. After seven days, the auction ended at $810. Oh, sadly, this, this is, this is a sad story. Kind of. <laughs> Sadly, the winning bidder didn't pay. Mean face. Put it up for auction again and sold it for $455. Again, the winning bidder did not pay. Did a buy it now of $500. Accepted a best offer of $425. And they paid. The whole process took six weeks. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. Oh my goodness. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Sorry, I just get so excited about these bolos. I don't care if they're not mine. Somebody is making big money and I am just loving it. And I don't know about it, so now I do. And now I hope to find it. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. Thanks for being here. If you're new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe if you've been here for a while. Thanks for putting up with me. All right, let's check out these bolos. I'm gonna tell you where they got it what they paid for it and what it sold for. And some of these, you guys are going to be like, what? And this first one is one of those, what? So this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Terry Mindful Recycle, and she is a big money Bolo finder. This is her YouTube channel. You definitely want to subscribe to her. Um, just wow. Okay. She purchased five of these, not one, five. She found five at an estate sale for five dollars each and sold four of them they are brand new old stock within a couple weeks so four sold within a couple weeks this one was slightly used so didn't sell as high as the other four but still was an amazing profit so four of them have sold this is the last one it sold for 449 dollars. she paid five it is a world geographic atlas a composite of Man's Environment, CCA 1953, Herbert Bear. I mean, who would have thought? I think some of them sold for like five and $600. It was incredible. I featured it before, but this is the last one. So she is now sold out. Um, if you want to learn about Big Money Bolos, sub her up. She's linked down below. Got it at the Goodwill in Maryland, paid $8 and sold for full asking price of $100 plus shipping. So this is a Dixon, D-I-X-X-O-N, women's, the Harris, Hyrus, ah, plaid snap flannel shirt. This is what it looks like. hundred bucks for that. I found this pocket knife at the Goodwill outlet. I paid about a dollar for it and sold it for $90 plus shipping in one week. It is an H. Boker and Company tree brand classic four blade folding pocket knife. And this is what it looks like. My bolo for December thus far. My husband was blown away, found at a local thrift store for $2 and sold for $59.90. Sold in less than three days. I always opt for the fast nickel. It's a vintage BD Becton Dickinson glass Fahrenheit fever thermometer. Okay, I will say that if it has, what's that called? Oh, I can't think of it. The red stuff in the middle. Um, oh, I can't think of what it's called. Mercury. Mercury in it. You cannot sell it. So I don't know if this has mercury in it or not. But just know that thermometers with mercury are not allowed to be sold on eBay. I just sold these clock hands. I love this one. For $78. Couldn't believe how the auction went from 5 to 78 in 15 minutes. I had bought a Howard Miller MCM chime clock for 25 that was in poor condition. So I took it apart and sold the parts. Total sale from the clock was 138. 
from the same buyer. He was so pleasant to work with. Free shipping cost me 21. So it is just the hands and the, you know, the pieces that go around. $78.77 on auction. That is so awesome. I love it. I love it. I love parting things out. This one comes from Where Pigs Fly Farm. And her eBay store is actually called Flipping, I'm sorry, Flippin' for Fur Babies. And she has a non-profit. She is a Bolo Buddies member. And they have like over 500 rescue animals that they have on this farm. I think it's like a bed and breakfast and a petting zoo. Not zoo, but pet, you can go and pet the animals. And it's really an awesome thing. Definitely check her eBay store out down below. It will be linked. Um, if you hear me shouting out a channel, a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are Bolo Buddies members of my YouTube channel. And they have joined at level two to get the perks. Um, you can check out down in the description. There's a link that'll tell you all about that if you click on the link. If you want the shout out and want to be featured, that is how you do it. You join level two. If not, you just continue to share and I'll still feature your bolo in the video. So what she said is broken cells. Pick this up at an auction cleanup free. I clean up the local auction house after live auctions. It's amazing what people leave behind. This tree had a big chunk broken out. I put it up for auction starting at $45 and bidding went up to $91 plus shipping. It's a vintage Holland Mold ceramic snow-tipped Christmas tree. Um, these are really, really collectible. I'm guessing if the chunk was out of the back or somewhere that could be hidden, somebody didn't care because look at this tree. It is incredible. Incredible. And maybe somebody can repair it. I don't know. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> Sorry. I just get so excited about these bolos. I don't care if they're not mine. Somebody is making big money and I am just loving it. And I don't know about it. So now I do. And now I hope to find it. I found a scrub a dub hand puppet at a thrift store for 50 cents. It's the same brand as those used in baby Einstein videos. I couldn't find this particular puppet on eBay, Google, or WorthPoint. I thought I might be reaching a little when I started the auction at $49.99. Within eight hours, it was at 100. After seven days, the auction ended at $810. Oh, sadly, this, this is, this is a sad story. Kind of. <laughs> Sadly, the winning bidder didn't pay. Mean face. Put it up for auction again and sold it for $455. Again, the winning bidder did not pay. Did a buy it now of $500. Accepted a best offer of $425. And they paid. The whole process took six weeks. My best guess as to reason for the high value is that these puppets were meant to be used in the bath so they wouldn't have lasted long after use. Plus, the kids that grew up watching these shows are now adults with disposable income to spend on memories. I absolutely love this bolo. I'm going to have to say it might be my favorite in this video. Let me know in the comments if you love it. Morris Moose Hand Puppet Baby Einstein Legends and Lore Scrub-A-Dub Club Red. Would you have walked past it? And if you bought it, would you have researched it enough to know that it had that much value? I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I do a pretty good job of researching and I always pick up puppets. So I would like to think that I would have picked this up. Bought this 1940s Janssen sweater at an auction for $5. It sold the same day for $105. How many of you would rock that? I would not rock that but it's pretty cool. I found this in a bag of plush in a thrift store dumpster. I am an avid dumpster diver as Goodwill is becoming a joke. Everything is put online. Sold for $160 within, hour, within an hour on eBay. There are way too many people at the bins. I went a few times, not impressed. People there seem desperate and hostile. Maybe they need to make a living at it. <laughs> okay, um... Well, tell me how you really feel. Um, so my thoughts are the people at my bins, there, there are some people that are a little pushy, but for the most part, 
Like everybody is awesome. And I think that not all Goodwill bins are created equally. I think some of them, some people can get kind of nasty and, you know, they, they kind of claim their territory. Um, but my bins, I love it. So, uh, unfortunately it sounds like she hasn't had a very good experience at hers, but let's talk about this Bolo. It is a vintage Manhattan toy company, Royal Blue T-Rex dinosaur plush from 1984 and it sold for $160. So I, I'm trying to understand the thrift store dumpster. What is a thrift store dumpster? Like is, does the thrift store have a dumpster that they throw stuff in that you can dumpster dive in? Hmm. And why would they not try to sell this? I'm confused. Anybody know anything about that? Any dumpster divers out there that dumpster dive at thrift stores? Let me know. This one came from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. This is her YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed, you need to go subscribe. She is a major bolo finder. Um, got this for free. Sold in less than a week. It is a vintage felt Christmas stocking, one of a kind handmade Santa reindeer beaded applique, $90.99. And she got it for free. I don't know where, but she got it free. Okay. Sold this gem shore nativity with damages in less than two weeks. Don't be afraid to sell broken items. Uh, it's 2007 gem shore, 10 piece miniature nativity, hand carved resin, uh, sold for $67.49. And I don't know where she got it. She didn't say. Paid $100 at an estate sale and sold very quickly for $489.99. It is a vintage 60s. I'm going to try and read this. Hobe Pecking. H-O-B-E and then P-E-K-I-N-G. Green glass and Australian crystal necklace brooch earring set. How beautiful is that? That is incredible. So she paid up for it. She paid $100 for it, but it sold for almost $500. This is a Brighton retired suitcase. I walked into a resale shop as it was being priced. I bought it for $125. It was new with tags. I sold it for full ask of $400 plus $154 shipping and tax. He was all in for $554. He was buying it for his wife, who he had bought one for 20 years ago and was replacing because luggage handling ruined it. I thought that was a really sweet story. Whew. It's a nice bag. All right. Last day of a tag sale, and these were still in the closet. Got this and another pair for $10. Both sold for close to $100 each. Used beat up cowboy boots. These are women's vintage leather Hondo boots with chains. Never heard of the brand Hondo. Um, all right, this next one paid 15 at a thrift store. Oakland Raiders 90s NFL puffer jacket, men's extra large spell out lined jacket, $79.99. So spell out means it is spelled out and that is a good keyword to put in your title. Paid $10 at a thrift store. It's a vintage Columbia Mossy Oak original camouflage hunting jacket. Sold it for $50. This one came from his personal collection from his childhood. And it looks like it is all parts or repair. 1975 G.I. Joe Adventure Team Land Adventure Muscle. Um, it looks like the head is off, the arms are off, and he sold this for $74.99. So do items that are broken or for parts or repair sell for big money? Yes, they absolutely can. This one comes from Got Junk in Our Trunk, Rhonda. She said she purchased this and three other similar sets for $8 per set at an estate sale. Sold for $69.99 plus shipping. And she is got junk in our trunk on YouTube. So go and sub her up. They are vintage Christmas caroler, boy singing. Um, and it looks like they are ceramic. It kind of got cut off, but this is what it looks like. Um, very cool little uh, figurines there. My most profitable item to date. Pick this up at an estate sale for maybe a buck or two. Did not look it up at the time. Sat in my death pile for a couple months and... I call mine my money pile because that is money. It's just money sitting there. And that's why I'm going to whatnot because I'm going to continue to list on eBay, but 
that money pile, like I'm still sourcing. So as I source, I'm going to list on eBay and get you guys videos on me sourcing and stuff. But that money pile, it's just sitting there. And I'm like, I need to bring that stuff to whatnot. So in the future, expect to see toys and jewelry and lots of that stuff that you see me doing in my what solds coming to whatnot because I got to move some of this stuff and I got to move it like that to make room for more because right now I'm becoming a hoarder. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I have no attachments to anything. So whatnot, here I come. If you guys are not following me on whatnot, I am Bolo Buddies over there. Follow me. There's a link down below. Um, $15 if you use my referral link to join whatnot. That's $15 to shop, okay? You got to do it. And if you want to sell on whatnot, there's a separate link. Um, so after you join uh, to buy, you can use the seller link to sign up to sell. And that referral link will tell them that Bolo Buddies sent you or something. It connects you to me. Um, and lets them know like I referred you. So it may help you get accepted quicker. My most profitable item to date, picked these up at an estate sale for maybe a buck or two, did not look it up at the time. Okay, I already read this. Uh, set in my death, sat in my death pile for a couple months. I was shocked when researching the value right before listing. Got a bunch of offers ranging from 600 to 1300, which I declined. Finally sold for $1,850. Wow. It's a vintage singer penguin walking pressure foot. So it probably goes to like a sewing machine. Are you kidding me? $1,850. High five. <laughs> Found these in my garage in a box during a move. Cost 10 cents each. You guys are going to love this. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I've heard of this and I think I've talked about this in a video that I did like a long, long, long time ago. Vintage Kool-Aid packages. Yeah, they paid 10 cents. It is a Kool-Aid package pouch, unopened packet, fruit teas, strawberry. $300. <laughs> Can you believe it? <gasps> oh my goodness. Found these in my garage during a move. That is awesome. Here's another one. Okay, so that one, it looks like there were 99 pieces. So I don't know if it was a pack of 99. This one here is wild berry tea, Kool-Aid fruit teas. And it says 60 packets, $180. You gotta love that, right? All right, I bought this Barbie at an estate sale for $6. My scene Barbies from the early 2000s are really starting to pick up in prices. She sold for full price in about two weeks. I sold another similar one at almost the same price. Um, 135 bucks is what she sold this for. This is what it looks like. This comes from Jody over at Toy Attic. This is her YouTube channel. Um, I believe she was the first Bolo Buddies member ever. And... Um, she actually encouraged me to do membership, so I appreciate her so much. Definitely go check out her YouTube channel. She is incredible. Took an offer of $125 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $282. She paid $1.99 each, so all in for $3.98 for these. 28-inch Anna Lee dolls from 1970. It's Santa and Mrs. Claus with stirrups. This is from Mom Knows Treasures. This is her YouTube channel. Go sub her up. Bolo Finder. Wow on the Anna Lee, right? Here's another one she found. Paid $4.99 at Shop Goodwill Auction. Sold in a couple of weeks for full asking price. Wow, $4.99 on Goodwill Auction? That seems really cheap. Um, always check comps on Terapeak or in computer. When I listed using my phone, it was giving me comps of 35. When I hopped on a computer, the last sold was over 75. So I listed it for 85. So I think she's saying that when she looks at comps on her phone, maybe not everything was coming up. Huh, that's different. I like WorthPoint. Um, but WorthPoint's kind of pricey and it's not for everyone. But if you're interested in learning more about WorthPoint, type in Bolo Buddies WorthPoint into the YouTube search bar. And I've got some videos on how it works for me and how it pays for itself. And I do have a referral link in the description if you guys want to check it out. 
So this is a vintage Jingle Bell Rock animated Santa from 1998, first edition, and she sold it for $85. Paid $3 at an estate sale, sold in about four weeks for full price, minus 15% off coupon. It's a flossy family Afghan made in USA House of Lloyd throw Christmas blanket. She sold it for $56.45. This is also from Mom Knows Treasures. And I know that some of these throws can do really, really well. Definitely look them up if you see them. And we've got one more here from Mom Knows Treasures. And it is, she took a best offer of 65 sold in two months. She paid $1.99 at the Salvation Army. It's a vintage 50s, 60s sweater, wool jacket, K-style, hand bead, funnel neck, mod, Hong Kong. And this is what it looks like. It's a great color, right? This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Dare to Dream Big 1313. She said, I got this cute little kitty ornament from the Goodwill Benz, maybe 20 cents or less, and sold him for $31 in two weeks on eBay. I think he's so cute. Yeah, it's a vintage Hallmark mischievous kitten, number one keepsake Christmas ornament, cat and fish. So a lot of times um, Hallmark has series and they are numbered. So this is probably number one in the series and people will need replacements or they will be trying to complete their set. So uh, definitely can get a little more for those sometimes. Bought this for $25 and sold it for $350 in less than 14 hours plus shipping brand new open box. It's a Champion 2000 Juicer, the world's finest. Wow, it's a juicer. PSA to check comps on vintage lunch boxes. If you find them in the wild, I have a collection that I'm selling off and this one just paid some bills for me. Condition really matters and most people are looking for the thermos bottle with the box, but some are so expensive th these days that even in bad condition, you can make money. This one was in great condition and even had its outer tag and paper instructions inside the thermos. Paid $90 for this V lunchbox and thermos back in early 90s. Just sold it on eBay. Listed it for $749 and I accepted an offer of $685 plus shipping. V was a sci-fi mini series in 1982. The box is from 83. FYI, if anyone has any lunchbox questions, feel free to DM. So you guys can find that in the original post if you guys have any questions. And this is what it looks like. V. Never heard of that. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Quiet Thrifter. And she said, I bought this at a yard sale for $10. It had some minor chips, but was still a beautiful piece. Took a best offer of $127.50 and the buyer paid shipping. It is a vintage 1957 Michigan Composition lamp, chalkware, Jesus wall art. Incredible. Wow. Chalk, chalkware. Wow. Some chalkware does amazing. Okay, I love this next one too. I picked this up at a garage sale for $1 and bought a light bulb from Amazon to ensure it worked. The total investment was $4 and it sold for full asking right price of $71.99. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I'm pretty sure I had one of these as a kid. Um, it's a glowworm. It's from 1982 preschool original green glowworm. Glowworm plush toy and it works. This is what it looks like. Anybody else have one as a kid? All right. This one comes from Ohio Treasure Hunters, who is also a Bolo Buddies member. He said, we got this out of the Goodwill bins and would have paid around 25 cents for it. This sold for full asking price of $94.99 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $104.74. It is a Patagonia Fitzroy Summers Shade Cap, vintage 1998. Here is another one from Ohio Treasure Hunters. He said, we got these out of the Goodwill bins. With the cheaper electronics weight price, we paid around $3 for these. I took a best offer on them for $105 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $129.11. Netgear Orby Whole Home Mesh Wi-Fi Router. Okay, and that is what it looks like. Found these wigs on Facebook Marketplace for free. Sold for full asking price on eBay. So this looks like it's a huge doll wig lot. Multi-size and brand. Sold for $245. And she got these for free on Facebook Marketplace. The other lot is uh, multi-size, multi-brand, 
doll wigs, 25 pieces that sold for 135. So you cannot be free. Um, let me know in the comments, would you have parted these out or would you have sold them in big lots if you got them free? Um, would it have made a difference? Um, that's a lot of money, 245 plus 135 for no investment. Incredible. Right, you guys, thank you much. Thank you much. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know in the comments if you made it this far and how you found the channel. Thanks for watching. So I thought apart. I thought, no, I'm sorry.